Hi everyone, Tao here. I've been using One Hand Operation Plus for quite a while now. It's by far my favorite implementation of gestures. It just makes navigating the phone so much easier during day-to-day -day use. The best part, it's super customizable and can add some extra functionality. The app allows you to map actions to six different edge gestures, straight, diagonal up and diagonal down directions with both a short and longer swipe. I personally use the right handler only, but if you're left-handed, you can use the left handler instead. You could also use both if you really wanted to. You can set up the gestures to mimic the navigation bar and use it as an easier to reach alternative or set it up to complement the default gestures with useful actions. Let me show you what I mean. Like I mentioned, the best part of One Hand Operation Plus is that the gestures are completely customizable. Let's take a look at all the different actions that you can assign swipes to. The first three, Back, Home, and Recents are the regular navigation buttons. The Menu key opens the Settings menu if the screen you're on has one. Previous app mimics double tapping the Recents key, jumping you back and forth between your last used apps. Forward only works in a web browser and takes you forward a web page if you've used the back button. Open notification panel will bring down the notification shade. Open quick panel will bring down the quick settings toggles. Screen off basically locks your phone. Flashlight will turn on the flashlight. Doing the same gesture again will turn it off. Assistance app launches Google Assistant. Screenshot is self-explanatory. Floating navigation buttons will briefly enable floating navigation buttons depending on where you perform the gesture. Pull screen down pulls the top half of your phone screen down towards the bottom to make things tucked away at the top easier to interact with. One-handed mode shrinks the entire phone screen down. Task Switcher is a super condensed version of the App Switcher, listing all the apps you have open so you can quickly jump to them. Media Controller briefly shows all your media controls. As long as you're interacting with it, it won't disappear. Screen Brightness brings up a pop-up menu with brightness up, down, and adaptive buttons. Quick Tools is essentially the eight actions I just listed mashed into a menu. A good choice for those of you who can't decide between the different actions. You can have them all. Once you've settled on a gesture setup that suits you, you'll likely want to dive into the advanced settings to make a few more tweaks. Turning on animation enables this little arrow animation serving as a visual guide. Landscape mode will ensure when you rotate your phone, the handle shifts as well. If you own a Note device, enabling S Pen gestures will allow the S Pen to be used for gestures. If off, only your fingers can activate the gestures. Show Notifications enables a persistent notification so you can turn off and on gestures at any time by tapping on it. Fit to Keyboard essentially shifts the gesture handle upward so it doesn't interfere with the keyboard when open. If you swipe to type on your keyboard, make sure this is turned on to prevent gestures from activating by accident. Hiding Quick Panel will hide the gesture handles when the Quick Settings panel is open. App Exceptions allows you to choose apps where the gesture handles won't be shown and gestures won't be recognized. This might be handy if you play a game that requires you to swipe from the edge constantly. On top of all that customization, you can also customize the edge handle, which is what you interact with to activate the gestures. You can change how transparent you want the handler to be. I personally prefer completely invisible. The size and position of the handle can also be tweaked to your liking, which I appreciate, since it means you can avoid overlapping the handle for the edge screen. Vibration level adjusts the strength of the gesture feedback. I wish the default One UI gestures had this too, as it makes using gestures more enjoyable. Finally, swipe distance is basically how long you have to swipe for a long swipe to register. 
There you have it, a rundown of everything you can do with One Hand Operation Plus. The initial setup of the gestures can be a little daunting with so many different settings and options, but it's totally worth it once you find something that works for you. If you're already using One Hand Operation Plus, feel free to leave your gesture setup down below. It might be insightful and helpful for someone who's learning about this for the first time. I might have to steal it if it's really good. Anyways, I hope you guys found this video helpful. As usual, thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, peace. Bye!